Hey guys, what's up? Chad Wesley Smith here. Just wanted to kind of take you through this uh, training session. So when I got it from uh, Brandon Lilly, who's handling all my programming right now, it had to be one of the most intimidating sessions I've uh, I've seen on paper, and it uh, definitely lived up to its name there. So it started off with uh, five sets of five at 6:45, which is about 80% of my uh, no wrap training max. Um, this first set was honestly the most difficult of the of those five sets, which probably tells me I need to be a little bit more thorough, thorough in my warm ups. Um, you know, I, I feel really strong in my technique right now. Just uh, trying to lock in this position as as well as possible. Um, maybe move the bar have moved the bar down my back about a quarter of an inch uh, from. Uh, where I squatted this last meet, but it feels it feels good. Um, it's fatiguing my back a little bit more through the training, but uh, I also feel like just more more powerful being able to drive my back into the bar as well. I think the the thing that's been the most effective with my squatting recently, uh, you know, f for this last meet and everything is just really improving my breathing and learning how to brace my uh, my torso that much stronger and I mean you guys can see from from here all the way up to my 937 in that last meet yeah you know, there's no weight that's gonna bend me forward at all I'm able to stay you know very upright and and just really lock that torso angle in so this here the fifth set was actually my my strongest feeling set of the uh of the five so that's you know that's always nice to feel like you're getting stronger as the as the training session is going on and if you've watched you know my other squatting videos i'm sure you guys uh, have heard me advocate oh yeah sorry here's my fifth set this was the strongest feeling one of of all five um you know, as if you guys watch my other squatting videos, kind of the tutorial stuff for three common mistakes, the things I really advocate, and hopefully I'm doing a good job demonstrating here myself, is a relatively close hand position. This is about as close as I can go with uh, this bar position. It's my thumbs are covering the rings. I'm trying to squeeze the elbows into the middle of my body and keep them pointed like straight down at my butt. So the arm angle is pretty vertical. And that's what's helping keep my torso vertical, and then descending at basically the same speed on every rep. So here we're going to some paused work. This is 515. I think I was supposed to do 525 here, but we'll survive. I'm just kind of pausing as like a one, two, and then exploding out of the hole. Uh, I did these five sets, so uh, 515 for five sets of three pauses. I did all these on controlled rest periods. I actually did the entire session through control rest periods. The 545 or the 645 sets though were with four minutes rest, so it's not like I'm really pushing the pace there, but these uh, sets of pause work were just with one minute rest. I'd highly suggest, you know, trying to take out the stopwatch and and control your rest because it's just a way to, to make sure you're staying consistent, make sure you're not staying in the gym forever, and uh, you know, as with doing lighter work like this, doing it on controlled rest periods like one minute rest or every minute on the minute is a great way to improve your special work capacity and uh, you know, just your general fitness. This makes the makes the training much more challenging, makes you recruit new muscle fibers uh, on every set as the other ones are becoming fatigued. Here we're going to some wide stance squats. Uh, this first set you probably can't even tell but there's much difference between my regular stance. Uh, the wide stance was a new, a new movement for me. It was pretty uncomfortable, and by this time, I mean this is my eleventh, my eleventh work set. Uh, I was getting really tired, I and mean, my legs are just smoked. My right, like spinal erector and right glute, were starting to lock up pretty bad. So the plan was to do 555 or 545 for uh, three sets of eight. I think I did seven that first set, and that's more of a product. That I, I was like squat 
drunk at this point, like not quite thinking uh, straight, so counting to eight was a pretty unlikely situation. Here the stance started to widen out some more. Uh, I'm also pointing my toes out more in it. So I'm just trying to get my feet like underneath the, the power rack as kind of the gauge of the width. Um, definitely much more challenging on the hips uh, and the groin. So this set I dropped it down to 495 and uh, tried to make up for the the missed volume on the on the earlier set. So I think this is 495 for 10. This was definitely the widest that the stance was the whole time, and I'm sure when I you know the next session when I when I have these they'll feel a lot better just because I'll be more accommodated to the movement. Um, I tell you I don't I don't know how dudes squat with real uh, wide stances. It was very uncomfortable for me. Um, but yeah, here here was the full squat session. See, it's a lot of work. Uh, Thirteen work sets in the squat. Um, yeah, I'm just squatting once a week right now, but gotta 